Hi and welcome back to another video. So in the last 6x17 video I tried it for the first time and was semi-successful. I had some problems with light leaks which I think came from the back of the camera where the frame counter window is located. In this one we will try it again and I will try to pay attention to this frame counter window so it doesn't get too much light. Let's see how it goes. It was also the first time I used my new Pentax spot meter. A lot of firsts in this one. And I effed up again. It seems like the roll wasn't loaded correctly. It doesn't really show in this frame, but you will see what I mean in the third one. Here we have a very bright top part, but I don't think that's a light leak because it's almost exactly in that spot. So that's possibly just overexposed. In this one I'm not sure what it is. Could be a light leak, but also a lens flare. Let me know what you think it is down in the comments, because I'm really not sure. And here we have it, the third frame. You can see in the lines in this picture um, that the roll wasn't loaded properly and it was a little bit bent, so that's why those lines are curved. And here we have again some bright parts in the picture, but yeah, I was again shooting into the sun, so could also be a lens flare. Because I didn't load the roll properly, I wasn't really satisfied with this test. So I decided to do another one in the mountains and shoot another roll of Kodak Tri-X 400. 
and I think those are exactly locations this camera is made for. Although we have again a bright part in the top left corner, I really like this shot. I also tried to shoot a vertical one, because why not? As you can see the focusing works great and the photos out of this camera are really really sharp. Here we have again a bright part in the top right corner, but again that's where the sun was, so could also be again a lens flare. I didn't finish the roll in the mountains, so the last shot I had to take again in my neighborhood. So I went for a ride to the forest and took the last shot there. Even my self-engineered viewfinder works pretty great. So the last thing to fix in this camera are just those light leaks or lens flares, whatever it is. So what's the conclusion? This camera will work and has to work. Um, it's not far away from working perfectly. The problem could also come from light bouncing around in the camera. I knew that could be a problem, so when I built the camera I painted the inside of the lens cone with matte black paint, but not the camera body. So I will paint the camera body also on the inside and yeah let's hope that fixes the problem we will see in the next video i hope you like this one and we will see each other there peace